A new study has revealed that the amount of microplastics in the human brain is roughly equivalent to a typical spoonful. 인간에 대해서 발견된 미세 플라스틱의 양이 일반적인 숟가락 한 스푼 분량에 해당한다는 연구 결과가 발표됐습니다. Okay, very scary news. Yes. I actually read this news a few days ago. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a lot of microplastics in our brain. Uh, we know that microplastics are polluting our environment, but now they are polluting our bodies. Yes, of course, anything that we eat, drink, even breathe yes. could have these microplastics in it. And they were doing some studies on cadavers. So, so mm-hmm. you know, people who are have deceased. Yes. Uh, and they were comparing the amount of microplastics between 2016 mm-hmm. and 2024. Got it. So that's an eight-year difference, right? right? Eight years. And they found that in the kidneys, 신장, mm-hmm. and in the liver, uh-huh. 간, 간, okay. uh, there was an increase of 7 to 30 times. <gasps> In just those eight years. Wow, that's yeah. phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it is quite a bit. So, of course, the kidney and the liver, they do a lot for filtering the yeah, body, detox, right? Detox. Yes. Detox, right? Mm-hmm. But in the brain as well. It's a sensitive organism. Oh, yes. That's right. mm-hmm. uh, it was found that there were 50% more microplastics. Oh, my gosh. So, in your brain, my brain, right now, mm-hmm. we could have. One spoonful of microplastics. Yes. So when they oh. were weighing the microplastics, yeah. it was the same as like a spoonful of plastic. And maybe that's why a lot of the modern day people have brain fog. 그, you know? 있겠죠. 좀 이렇게 피곤하고 mm. 막좀 맑지가 않고. Mm. Perhaps. I heard though that they found more microplastics and people with Alzheimer's. That's 치매. right. Yeah. Uh-huh. 치매 진단을 받은 사람의 뇌에 봤을 때 mm. it was about 5 times higher. 5배. 네, 다섯 배. 다섯 배. 다섯 uh-huh. 배. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it was about 5 times higher, uh, but they do not know if it was the reason. 원인지 아닌지 아직 뭐 정확한 증거 없으니까. So they can't conclude on the connection. Yeah, they just say that there might be a relation, might be a something connected between the two. Yeah, uh, that but wouldn't they, surprise me. They will have to do some more research. Oh my goodness. So what are we to do about all this microplastics? We got to be careful. It is well, very hard. Well, we did talk about the tea, mm-hmm. tea bags having a ton of microplastics. Yes. Any sort of plastics that you put in hot water mm-hmm. releases a lot of microplastics. Yes. So anything that you would potentially put to your mouth, Mm -hmm. so thinking of things like cups, containers, even those like irhyeong, like the spoons and the forks, those types of things, trying to use metal or in the case of like a cup, using glass or like a mug. Right, right. Yeah, that's made, you know, from clay, pottery. Oh, 그러면 좀 배달 음식을 좀 줄여야 되겠네요. (laughs) <laughs> Unfortunately, with all of the plastic we yeah, use, that is one I big so. source. Yes, that is true. Mm. Okay, so here it says uh, that they found an equivalent um, to a typical spoonful. So if something is equivalent to, it's kind of the same as, almost like nearing. Yes. Right? So it is equal, equal. right? Equal. Mm-hmm. Equal and equivalent have similar origins, right? Right, mm. right, right. So uh, a meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. Yes. Right. Like equal. Right. One meter mm-hmm. equals mm-hmm. 100 centimeters. Okay, yeah? mm. got it. All right. A new study has revealed that the amount of microplastics in the human brain is roughly equivalent to a typical spoonful.